Well, we still got, there's still mud laid on the beach in places, but I'm glad I came down because I just started stirring this around and it doesn't look like there's anything there. All right there. The type stem. It's hiding. That's another nice piece of pipe stem. And I can tell it's pipe stem because it's broken off on both ends. And I'm glad I found it. Otherwise, what would have happened? Water and mud inside uh, would have froze, and this would have broken in half. Almost like it cut down through the center with a, with a knife, because the ice inside would just would have broke it apart. That's a nice find. soon have enough to make a whole second necklace. These make decorative necklaces, they do. And I'll probably donate a bunch to the school too. Well, it's no probably, I know I will. That's 17th or 18th century. There's got to be more kicking around here. Hopefully some pearl and fossil as well. And the seagulls are starting. I have to let this camera focus here. More of the... If you look at the... In the air, the seagulls are starting to circulate. They're looking for fish ghoul movement. And there's still one little mystery. Where are the seals? I remember last winter, I was looking at all kinds of seals. Well, I, I did get quite a bit of seal footage last winter. And maybe in December the seal footage will pick up. Who knows? We have the harbor seal here. Uh, they spend their summers in they spend their summers in the Gulf of Maine and then they come back up here in the fall. There's there's two boats out there. There's one boat coming in. I just noticed that. Yeah, there's one one boat way out there and there's another boat coming toward us. The one closest to the island is like only half a mile away. And then there's the one in the distance is a mile away. Something like that. I'm certainly not going to walk out there and measure the distance. I'll, I'll just estimate it. Alright. On to the next, uh, on to the next little search 